much filming, dude? I think we're... Are we live? Is the video on? CR3 family, what's going on guys? My name is Charles Rizek, and these are the top 10 things that I can't travel without. So let's get it. All right guys, the first travel accessory that I cannot travel without have gotta be these $3 sunglasses. I actually got these at a, um, a street vendor in China five years ago when I was studying abroad. And what I like about these is they are cheap and if you lose them, you break them, it's not a big deal. I made the huge mistake when I first started traveling by traveling with expensive sunglasses. Just buy some knockoffs, guys. So these cost me three bucks and these are definitely something I can't travel without. They block out the sun, um, they make sure you're not cross-eyed when you're recording YouTube videos. See, I'm actually not even looking at the camera right now. So make sure you guys grab some cheap sunglasses if you're traveling overseas. That way, if you lose them, it's no big deal. All right, guys, the second thing I cannot travel without has got to be a good book and a journal. I'm currently reading The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. I'll be dropping the link for this in the Amazon um, store on the bottom of the video. But very good book, it's a fable. Um, Paulo Carrillo, the author of The Alchemist, said this is a great book. I'm also saying this is a great book as well. Talks about this guy who had everything from a materialistic perspective, ends up selling all this shit, moving to India, finds enlightenment, and along the way, he has some incredible lessons you can learn and implement into your life to live relentless. So definitely recommend checking this book out. Also got a journal, and I kind of run through these things. So um, let's see what I got. I open this journal up every day, and no matter what's going on, no matter what time I wake up, I start with gratitude. Write down my five action items, and then I have the I am statements. I am capable, I am great, I am proud. And then I start my day. So if you guys aren't journaling, it's nice for me to reflect back on where I was on a mental state a few months, a few days, a few years ago. So definitely a journal and a great book or my travel must-haves. Boom! The next travel item that I cannot travel without, guys, is a black t-shirt. This is a black t-shirt from True Classic. I got this probably, honestly, a year ago. I bought three t-shirts for me traveling overseas. They haven't shrunk. They smell great. They're a little more expensive. I think I paid 70 bucks for three shirts. But um, I'm gonna hook you guys up with a discount code. Discount code right here, BOOM! Grab you some Travel Classic or some True Classic black t-shirts. I mean, black t-shirts are sexy. They're easy to clean. They look great and they're super, super um, easy to pack, right? So. Definitely a travel item I cannot live without. The next travel item I can't live without are these AirPods. They're actually in this protective case because I probably lost these things. Um, it's probably my fourth pair, but AirPods are great. It allows me to kind of zone out, listen to some music, get some work done. Um, Right now, I'm listening to some stuff I'm really enjoying. It's um, Greta Van Fleet. They are like the modern day um, Who mixed with Pink Floyd. Super good music. I'm listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers, Incubus, and uh, some Darius Rucker. I only want to be with you. You only want to subscribe to me. Click that button real quick. So loving some Darius Rucker. These AirPods are great if you're traveling. Definitely recommend picking up a pair of headphones. I like the wireless ones, so definitely something I can't travel without. All right, next up are these supplements by Heart and Soil. I have Warrior right here that George St. Pierre, the UFC fighter, um, helped come up with. Then I have the Beef Organs um, right here. That's pretty self-explanatory, right? So. In the beef organs, you get liver, heart, kidney, pancreas, and spleen. 
and then the warrior you get more heart and liver. So I've been reading up on the carnivore diet. I've been doing it for the past month and I feel great. So guys, if you're trying to get your gym gains up, if you're trying to get your uh, libido up, recommend trying out the carnivore diet and see what happens. But definitely something I can't travel without are these supplements. And if I'm traveling, I don't usually bring protein with me. Um, it's just kind of heavy to lag or drag around. But I do try to hit my protein goals every single day. So if you're traveling, um, you're gonna do a lot of walking. Just enjoy the time traveling. Try to hit your protein goals and eat your organs. Hello. All right guys, another thing I can't travel with that is my cell phone. Um, and for the most part, I'm in airplane mode because overseas you use international SIMs and it's actually cheaper than it is in the US. 20 bucks a month I was living in Vietnam using my cell phone, no problem. So I really like using the Calm app on my cell phone and um, Spotify. So a cell phone is definitely something I can't live without. It's hard to navigate if you're international and trying to travel throughout these countries. So using maps, and I'd recommend downloading an, off, an offline map pack makes getting around a lot easier. So cell phone is something I definitely can't live without. All right, next up on the things I can't live without while traveling is a GoPro, a battery pack charger thing, a, uh, a charger, and my laptop. So this laptop has been with me through everywhere. It's been to nine countries. It allows me to get my editing done. Let's go to a coffee shop, grab a coffee, edit some vids. And then my GoPro, self-explanatory, right? I started recording um, my YouTube videos. My first three or four videos were actually on my cell phone. I would just turn it inverted and it allowed me to record, but I've been using my GoPro. I got two GoPros now, um, one for the bike and then one for uh, POV. So definitely recommend getting a GoPro. They have a deal right now um, for 350 bucks. It comes with a um, little stand. So GoPro's great. Allows you to really you know enjoy your time traveling. You can go underwater with it. Don't go too deep. That's what she said. But GoPros are definitely fun. Then I got this uh, external battery pack. This is 50,000 mAh. Allows me to charge my phone up to 10 times. It has a real cool light on it. Let's see how this thing works. Nope. Um, but yeah, definitely grab a external battery pack. It'll save your ass. This one's actually solar powered. I just pop in my backpack. Boop! It allows it to charge while I'm exploring. And then you got some, um, some juice for your, yourself. Next thing I can't travel with that is this Patagonia Micro Puffer. Dude, uh, this thing's great. You can't tell it's a jacket, can you? So this thing's a fantastic travel accessory. Uh, primary reason is it collapses into this small uh, square. It's great for sleeping in the airplane. It's a pillow. Um, it's also like a football. Boom! Uh, but wait, there's more. This thing opens up into a lightweight jacket, which is breathable on hot days and warm on cold days. I've been all over Asia in this, wore it in the mountains and it kept me warm and I wore it when it was hot out and raining and it kept me dry. So, looks great. Patagonia Puffer. I got it for about 150, 200 bucks at REI. But you can get this thing anywhere. So, if you're traveling, make sure you bring a small, lightweight jacket like this. Makes traveling a lot easier. Um, plus, you get a free pillow out of it, so. All right, the next item I can't travel without is this cologne by Paco Ramane. Rabane? Ravon. Ravon. Paco Ravon. A million. You wanna smell like a million bucks, guys? You wanna have a million ladies chasing after you? 
gotta buy this cologne. This stuff smells great, smells uh, nice and masculine. A little hint, a little hint of fruit. So definitely recommend checking this out. Looks great, it's definitely one of my travel must-haves. And it's the required weight to pack on your carry-on. So I bring this stuff everywhere. A million cologne, it's a must-have travel accessory for sure. All right guys, the next item that's essential for me to travel is this wooden uh, Buddha. I named him Carl, and I actually bought him in Hong Kong when I was studying abroad. I lived there for about two months back in 2017, and that is what honestly got my travel bug started mainly for Southeast Asia. I just fell in love with Asia, fell in love with the food, the people. This guy goes with me everywhere, every vacation, whether it's international or domestic. I just bring him with me. Um, I put him on my nightstand when I do my morning meditation um, and my breathing exercises, right? And he's just uh, he's a cool guy. My wooden Buddha. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching my video. If you found any value from this, make sure you click the subscribe button. Boom! Make sure you share this link with everyone that's planning to travel internationally this year. Um, those are my top 10 items. Hope you guys have a great day. And remember to live, laugh, travel. Until next time, peace!